What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here for a new reading of the Bitcoin Optech Group newsletter. Again, thank you very much to all the amazing contributors to this fabulous, fabulous information. Number 28, on January 8th, 2019, this week's newsletter announces a new maintenance release of Bitcoin Core, describes continued discussion about new signature hashes, and links to a post about possible economic barriers to Lightning Network payments, crossing different currencies. Description of notable code changes in popular Bitcoin infrastructure projects are also provided. Action items. Upgrade to Bitcoin Core version 0.17.1. This new minor version release in December 25th restores some previously depreciated functions uh, like the list transaction RPC and includes bug fixes and other improvements. Consider reading the release notes and upgrading. News. Continued Sikash discussion. As mentioned in the news section of newsletter number 25, developers on the Bitcoin Dev mailing list discussed how signature hashes could be modified to give the transaction access to new capabilities. Sig hashes give spenders the ability to allow their transaction to be modified in specific ways after they are signed. For example, two people who open a payment channel together can use a particular type of SIG hash to allow either one of them to un unilaterally attach additional transaction fees to a channel closed transaction. The most recent discussion in this thread of almost 70 posts has mostly evolved involving edge cases related to new SIG hash flags, in particular a BIP 118 like SIG hash no input unsafe. As part of the discussion, protocol developer Johnson Lau described an optimization for L2-based payment channels. He also discussed whether he also discussed whether the op code separator op code should be disabled in the script update that supports masks via Taproot. That op code is not used, common use, but if you plan to use it in the future script version, you should comment on the thread. Cross-chain Lightning Network as an option, options contract. Pseudonymous Lightning Network contributor CMN SCP XY started a thread on the Lightning Dev mailing list, pointing out that users could abuse payments uh, that cross currencies to create almost free short-term option contracts by delaying payment settlement. A previous thread by Corner Plui in May 2018 described the same thing. For example, Mallory learns that Bob is willing to route a payment from Bitcoin to Litecoin. So she sends a payment from one of her Bitcoin nodes through Bob to one of her Lightning nodes. If this were a normal payment, she'd settle it immediately by releasing the pre-image for the payment's hash lock. But instead, her no node delays for 24 hours waiting for the exchange rate to change. If the exchange rate increases in Litecoin's favor, Mallory sends the payment and receives Lightning to Litecoin today at yesterday's exchange rate. If the exchange rate stays the same or increases in Bitcoin's favor, Mallory causes the payment to fail and get her Bitcoin back. Since no fees are charged for failed payments, Mallory received an opportunity to temporarily lock in the price of Litecoin for nothing but the cost of owning the Bitcoin Mallory's would have traded. There currently aren't any known cross-currency Lightning Network nodes, but the availability of this trick means that futures such nodes could be abused for speculation rather than payment routing. If this tr turns out to be a real problem, and if any acceptable solution isn't found, it may be the case that payment channel networks for different currencies will be isolated from each other. Notable code changes. This week in Bitcoin Core, LND, C Lightning, and LipSec P256 K1. A Bitcoin Core merge significantly improves the error handling for the import multi RPC and will return a warning field for each attempt import with an array of strings dis describing any problem with the last import, but only if there were any problems. <coughs> Bitcoin Core pull request here updates the get block, block template RPC to require that the SegWit flag will be passed. 
This helps prevent miners from accidentally not using Segwit, which reduces their fee income. See newsletter 20 for a recent instant where this may have happened to a large mining pool. Another sea lightning or a sea lightning commit, lightning D to be shut down normally, even if it's operating as a primary process, which can be useful in Docker containers. This is, for example, how the open source BTC pay server runs sea lightning. Another C Lightning adds notification subscription handlers that can be used by plugins with initial support for notification that the node has connected to a new peer or disconnected from an existing peer. The plugin documentation and sample plugin have been updated to these handles. And a couple LD commits here increase the maximum size of the gRPC message the LNCLI tool will accept, raising from 5 megabytes to 50. This fixes a problem some nodes were encountering, where the D described graph RPC was failed due to the network having grown so large that the message exceeded this limit. Developers using JRPC directly will need to increase their client-side maximum message size setting. Description of how to do this having have already been added as com comments to the pull request for Python and Node.js. Ultimately, it's expected that the network will grow large enough to exceed even this new maximum. So developers are planning to revamp the re relevant RPCs to handle this situation. And the last LND commit here adds a new invoice state field that and deep depreciates and former settled field in RPCs that get information about invoices. The settled field was Boolean, but the new state field can surpass multiple values. Currently, this is just open or settled, but any additional feature states are planned. Peers, you got to subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter, the best source of information of Bitcoin developers. Uh, Piers, thank you very much for joining me here for a newsletter and for the newsletter reading. And thank you very much. See you on the next show. Bye-bye.